Welcome to Liberty TV with the brand new Dell Venue 11 Pro and this is the Intel Atom version which will be a little bit slimmer than the Intel Hasa version which will be maybe one millimeter thicker because it has an active um, cooler inside otherwise you can see we have a nice 10.8 inch screen uh, full HD this is a non-working sample right now so we cannot turn it on but let's just go around the device and you can see also that there will be um, quite some accessories here um, with the tablet that you can buy so we have here on the bottom of course the docking port so we can use all these um, extensions which are quite nice to have by Apple uh, by uh, Dell. On the uh, left side we have here USB 3.0, micro USB, um, speaker, volume control and headphone um, port. So you will actually charge a device via micro USB. Otherwise, we have seen the bottom, we can check out the other side uh, where you can see that there was an SD card reader, another speaker and I don't know what the hole in the middle is and the Dell spokesperson weren't able to tell me uh, either. But we have also a mini HDMI here so that's also a uh, possibility to just connect it to a um, TV or anywhere else. And also here on the top we have have an on and off switch with a little LED and two microphones actually uh, for noise cancellation so that's quite nice. On the back we have 8 megapixel on the in the front we have a 2 megapixel camera and also on the back you can actually see that it's uh, quite easily accessible so this is um, nice for companies that uh, want to change maybe the things that are inside. You can change the battery easily, um, uh, 3G or other things inside so that's quite nice and actually the SIM card reader is right here if you uh, want to use that. Also with the um, Venue 11 Pro there is an LTE uh, model uh, with the Haswell and the Intel Atom model um, only has the um, um, a 3G um, plus version inside so we just close up the back and then we can check out some extras for example here the keyboard cover which is a little bit like the Asus uh, transformer keyboard you can see here uh, or you cannot see it right now but actually let's just um, look at it here we have the micro USB for charging it if you want to otherwise uh, you can uh, use it also uh, also here by just docking it inside and you can charge it um, directly uh, from the tablet to the keyboard also and the other way around if you don't have a cable right now it's quite nice a feeling to just uh, press the things here um, so this is like you would have a netbook with a 10.8 inch screen um, there's no connectors or ports actually here on the keyboard dock so we can see here there's only one LED in the back that will show us if it's charging or not and otherwise there's really no ports and connectors here with the keyboard dock let me open it up again take it out with one hand you can see this is not quite easy right now but as I said this is a pre-production device so let's just press this in here um, and then just take it out so once I put this keyboard to the side, you can buy also a slimmer keyboard. This looks a little bit like the um, type cover by Microsoft that they made for the Surface. Um, we have also here, you can see some ports, so you don't have to connect it via Bluetooth. It's, um, it's, it clicks in, uh, as um, Ed would say by Microsoft, and you have really here the same uh, kind of keyboard actually, which is quite nice. And um, it also has a little bit of travel, not too much, a little bit less than you're used to for Microsoft, but it's better than just a um, touch keyboard like you would have on XPS 11, for example. Otherwise, you can see here of course also a still mouse feeling and when you close it up like this you can see also the back is a little bit protected also and you can use it also as a stand since it doesn't have a stand built in there's a stand feature like this so you can open it up and this is not perfect right now you have to find the right spot should be somewhere around here, I'm not sure, so you can just really use it with a stand uh, like this and I'm a little bit clumsy right now, but this is how it would look like with the stand and uh, then it should hold actually, but I'm a little bit afraid since it's a pre-production device, so on the back it would really just hold it like this. So one of the most interesting features is maybe here um, the, the um, dock. Now the dock is quite nice if you want to just uh, use it at work. Um, you have a USB 3.0 on the front and a headphone um, port here with um, also a speaker. You can just plug in here the tablet and this is actually moving around so I can just really take the tablet, put it inside here and you can see you just uh, let it go. It's made out of metal. This part is completely made out of metal, so it's quite heavy. Um, it's not for traveling with it, um, but you can see also in the back we have more USB ports, um, a LAN port also, HDMI and display port. There's no Kensington or anything like that, but we have the standard XPS um, power plug right there, so this is quite nice uh, to look at and use. And I'm sorry guys that I cannot show you uh, right now the Dell Venue 11 Pro um, with the um, operating system working, but you can imagine Windows 8 just running fine. 
fine on this, so this was just really short hands on with um, all kinds of extras here that uh, will be also um, available by Dell. So thank you much for watching. This was Endeavor TV. Don't forget to subscribe. And this was the Dell Venue 11 Pro with a full HD screen, Intel Atom processor version, um, and of course um, uh, 3G and more.